President Biden says if Hezbollah attacks Israel, American troops will not get involved. Roll tape. He said you were very blunt with the Israelis on the need to give humanitarian aid to Gaza, or what exactly? On everything. <laughs> so, we, we, no, I, I was very blunt about the need to support getting humanitarian aid to Gaza. Get it to Gaza and do it quickly. Biden officials have indicated to Israel in recent days that if Hezbollah initiates a war against Israel, the U.S. military will join the IDF in fighting the terrorist group. Not true. Okay, not true. Quite clear there. Drone expert Brett Velikovich with me now. Brett, I think the president was referring to American boots on the ground. But what about our missiles and drones? Surely they would play a major role if Hezbollah attacks Israel. Well, I hope so, because I think what he said is pretty ridiculous. That's probably why uh, Trey Yinks is reporting that fire is coming from the Lebanese yep. side, likely from Hezbollah, because they're listening to all the words of our president and our administration on what they're going to do to, to stop these guys if they come in. And it's very dangerous if, if Hezbollah enters this conflict. Very, very dangerous. And you know, even worse if, if Iran does. We need to help the Israelis reestablish deterrence. We should do as much as we can in the meantime from the air. That includes providing surveillance, intelligence support to the Israelis from drones and other aircraft, and especially the fact that you know there's potentially U.S. hostages in Hamas territory. We need to assist the Israelis in gathering as much intelligence as they can to root out these terrorists. Hamas is a terrorist group that just needs to be put down once and for all. Americans, you know, they need to understand this isn't just a threat to Israel. It's a threat to our own way of life. And Iran is using them as a proxy to get to us. Some of the Hamas fighters during the initial invasion, they even allegedly had Al-Qaeda and ISIS documents that were found on them, showing that yeah. there is influence with our enemies working all against us. This is an evil that just cannot exist in this world today. And look what Hamas did just in the few days they were able to penetrate Israel's defenses. They murdered, they raped, they pillaged, they rampaged through these Israeli homes, shooting at civilians methodical and very cold. There's even videos of these events and how disturbing it is. We have to assist Israel in crushing Hamas, removing their combat power, and destroying, destroying them once and for all so that this doesn't happen again. Brett, overnight, the news is drones targeted an American base in Syria. That's after two drones targeted U.S. troops in Iraq. Were these drones from Iran? Is Iran poking us, the bear? Is that what's going on? It's highly likely. I mean, this is a, a region that, you know, frankly, uh, you know, has uh, perfected the art of these low cost pre precision drone strikes for years as a result of Iranian covert influence. You know, Iran's been supplying Hezbollah, Hamas, all these other terrorist groups in that region with sophisticated drone technology that's meant to inflict maximum casualties and especially target U.S. troops. And my fear is that it's going to continue because, you know, these lethal drone strikes, they're getting more and more regular globally as there's this massive proliferation of drones that continue. You've got low cost, highly lethal, long distance drones, more commonplace in these wars. And it's not just reserved for these nation states with huge government budgets. It's, you know, it's nothing for someone who wants to really cause some damage to get their hands on these lethal uh, drone munitions and these loitering, these loitering drones. So the U.S. needs to wake up and really understand what's going on here. I don't think we're ready for this. And I think we're going to see more attacks, unfortunately, on, uh, you know, our allies, on U.S. bases, on U.S. troops. If we don't do something to, um, you know, stop Iran from providing this lethal technology to our enemies, and that's called escalation. Brett Velikovich, the man on the spot, know what you're talking about. Thanks for being here, Brett. We'll see you soon.